We want to solve the equation 3 times the quantity x minus 8 minus 6 equals 5 times the quantity x plus 6. The solution to the equation is the value of x that satisfies the equation, which means the solution is the value of x that makes the expression on the left equal to the expression on the right. In order to solve for x, we need to isolate x on one side of the equation. And for this equation, the first step is to eliminate the parentheses, which means we'll distribute 3 here on the left and distribute 5 on the right. So 3 times x equals 3x minus 3 times 8 is 24. So we have 3x minus 24 minus 6 equals distributing 5. 5 times x is 5x plus 5 times 6 is 30. So on the right side, we have 5x plus 30. Next, let's see if we can simplify either side of the equation. Notice how we have two like terms here, negative 24 minus 6, or negative 24 plus negative 6 equals negative 30. And therefore, the left side simplifies to 3x plus negative 30, or just 3x minus 30. So we have 3x minus 30 equals 5x plus 30. In order to isolate x on one side of the equation, we cannot have an x term on the left and an x term on the right. And therefore, to isolate x or solve for x, we need to either eliminate or undo the 5x on the right or eliminate or undo the 3x on the left. Let's undo or eliminate the 5x on the right by subtracting 5x on both sides. Notice 5x minus 5x is 0. And whatever operation we perform to one side of the equation, we must also perform to the other. And now let's go ahead and simplify both sides. 3x minus 5x is the same as 3x plus negative 5x, which is negative 2x. We have negative 2x minus 30 equals on the right. 5x minus 5x is 0. That's why we subtracted 5x on both sides. Now the right side is just 30. The next step is to isolate the variable term by adding or subtracting, which means you want to undo minus 30 by performing the opposite or inverse operation. And therefore, to undo minus 30, the next step will be to add 30 to both sides of the equation. Simplifying both sides again, on the left side, adding 30 undoes minus 30, or negative 30 plus 30 is 0. So now we have the equation negative 2x equals 30 plus 30 is equal to 60. So now we have the equation of negative 2x equals 60. The last step is to multiply or divide in order to solve for x, and negative 2x means negative 2 times x, and therefore to undo multiplying by negative 2, we perform the opposite or inverse operation, which means we divide both sides by negative 2. Dividing by negative 2 undoes multiplying by negative 2, and therefore the left side simplifies to just x, or negative 2 divided by negative 2 is 1, and 1 times x is x. And x is equal to 60 divided by negative 2, which equals negative 30. So our solution is x equals negative 30. But let's check this by making sure it does satisfy the equation. To do this, we'll substitute negative 30 for x in the original equation. We would have 3 times the quantity negative 30 minus 8 minus 6 equals 5 times the quantity negative 30 plus 6. And let's go ahead and check this on the calculator. So on the left we have 3 times the quantity negative 30 minus 8 minus 6. Enter. The left side equals negative 120. On the right side we have 5 times the quantity negative 30 plus 6, which is also equal to negative 120, which means x equals negative 30 satisfies the equation, and our solution is correct. I hope you found this helpful.